Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Sam FX YouTube channel and this is Poco F3 I mean the Mi 11X and Redmi K40 custom ROM reviews this is the Android version 13 and it's none other than Pixel experience ROM here as you can see with Android version 13 and 5th January 2023 is the latest security patch and kernel used here is 4.19.261 immensity x kernel has been used this is the latest build available January 20th is the build date latest it is just today it has been announced the e experience plus version has been also announced I flashed the normal variant here and this is the CPU throttling test results after running it for 15 minutes you can see here the maximum is 304 and average is 262 and minimum is 194 and it is startled to 77 percent of its max performance which is good in my opinion for certain time it was even great as you can see hence it was received like 300 million gips which is good in my opinion according to this app but overall it was a very good experience in this particular room and i have running this dark theme which is pitch black condition because of the wallpaper or what i don't know it's currently in pitch black condition usually you won't get that condition once you apply this kind of wallpaper but it is here in this particular room let me disable that and this how the light mode looks like and this is the wallpaper and you get a material u design which was there from android 12 and it's carried through 12.1 12.0 and now android 13 the material u design really remains same here widgets you get again print of widgets the battery widget is also working fine if you want you can drag them and add here and pixel launcher has been given as a pre-installed launcher notification dots and other options as you can see enhanced notification do not disturb mode these all the things available in this particular rock now moving into quick settings panel as you can see it is very very smooth even dragging between them is also very very smooth in my opinion the ui is really smooth you will feel that once you flash the rom within a fraction of seconds only you can identify that it is smoother than any custom roms available yes i am testing it out from last couple of hours now i tried to find difference between this rom and previously i was in miui vn edition which was even faster but i felt this rom is faster than that just to explain you i am saying this that smoothness you will definitely notice in this pixel experience rom but it is an unofficial build and one more thing is the recovery going to change to this pixel experience once you flash this so flashing methods will be different i have made a video on shorts video that is different actually if you flash with that method it may get flashed but it will get into boot loop hence use twrp recovery then uh, flash this rom and again after flashing this rom it, the twrp recovery also uh, replaces with this pixel experience recovery that you need to keep in mind and it's an unofficial build one more thing you need to keep in mind apart from that you get here very good scores here let me try to find my uh, internet speed in this particular rom as you can see i have 100 mbps connection it's pulling up to 90 to 95 mbps which is wi-fi even with mobile data connection and one more thing regarding the internet connection actually let's move into that actually i was very curious here you will get very good connection 4g plus is also given here if i move into like network and internet and again internet yeah yeah preferred network i want to show you actually yeah this one the sims you press this one and again move here downwards and prefer network type as you can see i kept even nr only and nr lt also i have here proper 5g connection also using my geo application is showing you need to be updated but there are options here i tried to find out a lot more here regarding nr and even global also but i did not got any 5g here maybe is it a issue with me 11x or anything else i don't know for other smartphones i do get 5g coverage here but for this particular uh, me 11x i am not getting it let me know in the comment section guys if you know that i have tried to change this all the things but i didn't find any change here 
but I do get 5G coverage in this area and this ROM offering very good of sort of options here I thought I would get 5G but that is not the case here I don't know if you guys having that options and if your area into that 5G coverage let me know in the comment section we will get that options or not and you are getting any 5G or not let me know in the comment section let me disable the mobile internet and turn on the Wi-Fi and the experience in the UI is also fine here private DNS you can choose here and this is the UI as you can see it's very smooth and responsive as I said before on camera application I have installed this camera we go into settings and this is an Arnova built Gcam you can see here 8.1.101 and I'm using this uh, HOG something the xml file which is working fine the front camera is lot more better and back camera obviously it is better itself and we don't get any nx camera support what we see in some of the other rooms we get MIUI leica edition camera that is simply missing in this particular room and dolby atmos obviously it's working fine as you can see all the customizations you can do here the output is really good in my opinion and moving into some of the benchmark results like geekbench it's not great you won't get any better benchmark results in the geekbench actually as you can see single score 844 and multi scores 278 and the kernel as i said before immensity x kernel has been used in this particular rom because of that kernel the smoothness is there the battery life is not great or anything like that but definitely it's not a draining like any other custom roms that i really liked it it's a simple and simple ui it is simple and clean ui you can say it out as a pixel experience user you can definitely enjoy the experience here and uh, some of the other settings like cpu throttling i have shown it and drm information you get level one certification you can watch all the audit application in high definition resolution and play store certification is also done here no problem regarding that and into settings like i want to show this sound and vibration you get again me sound enhancer here you can choose the headphone type and preset from here even the smart selection scene also given here i audio system is also given you can tune this out and even use this dolby atmos that will make you the experience better in terms of audio you can use either 3.5 mm the dongle using the headphone jack or the your bluetooth headsets which will work fine no problem regarding that in the display you won't get any adaptive refresh options here per app refresh rate has been given here but you can't choose it i hope it is by default kept to 120 and colors again you get options here screen saver option is given dark theme as i said before you can shade it out but you can't make it pitch black here depend upon uh, wallpaper you apply tap to wake is given tap to sleep is not given here and wallpapers and styles you get uh, wallpaper colors has been given and basic colors options are also given here this is an android 13 feature and this quick settings panel you can see the automatic brightness toggle will be missing here that will be same in all the pixel experience roms i experienced the power and settings button has been moved downwards that's the one change you will notice here apart from that nothing visually has been changed and you all using this from October I think so for me 11x nothing changed I also noticed but smoothness has been increased in this particular ROM definitely you can use it too and security features you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock let me show you the face unlock here as you can see it is very quick again it is very quick to unlock your smartphone using that and even the fingerprint unlock as you can see I haven't registered it it is going to be faster here and uh, this is the pixel experience from as you can see you can play around these toggles also there are some in the edit section but is it is clean in green here which you can use it as a daily drive definitely from my side it's going to be a thumbs up they have done very good job here but it's an unofficial build maybe very soon we get a official build with little bit of tweaking and that recovery replacement should not happen like that but that's all guys in this video if you like the video give it a like and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel like that subscribe button down below and also all of the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and 33 watt charging support is also available no problem regarding that it is going to charge your smartphone from 20 to 90 percent within 30 minutes that's really good in my opinion thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now